Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Feed the Beast. I am Zerul, your conductor for today's train wreck of an episode. Today we're going to go ahead and work on building our, um, our machines out a little bit with a few basic things. Um, and then we're going to play around uh, with a couple more things with applied energistics, a couple of buses. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right into this here. Um, so you'll see here I've got myself a build list. We're going to go ahead and work on this, and we'll probably get an induction smelter built up together first. So first we want to go ahead and get a macerator. Um, the very first thing I want, to, I want to get put together is a macerator um, and an aqueous accumulator. So let's do the macerator first. All right, so macerator. So this is pretty straightforward. Um, let's make us like four or five of these. Um, let's see here, electronic circuits. Ooh, the forcing gets actually give us double uh, circuits. That's actually pretty nifty. All right, we need to make ourselves a bunch of copper first there. Copper cabling. So let us, uh, you know what, let's just do this. I was going to make this a moment ago. Let's just do that. Copper ingots. That's fine. And rubber. So you see, this act these rubber bars actually are equivalent here. All right, let's make uh, 60 should be enough. All right. Then we need one redstone in the center, and then we need, so actually let's do some force ingots. Do we have some? Yeah, we can do that. All right, in fact, let's grab those, grab some iron. Let's just make a little bit of that real quick here. Dook. There we go. That should really help out. And yeah, we'll, we'll use these circuits eventually. All right. So we got our circuit. We need a machine block, which is just refined iron in a circle like that one let's just make all three of these uh, let's see here we need now I'm not using Greg text so we actually get to get the cheaper version so flint machine block circuit and then cobblestone now the macerator is if you, if you've never used this machine that lets you take ores and double them. Uh, all right, so there's the macerator. I also want to get an electric furnace. Yep, electric furnace. So we an iron furnace, a couple of redstone. All right, we can do that. So one iron furnace, like so, redstone and a circuit, like so, electric furnace, macerator, there's the first two things we're going to put together. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our copper cabling. Now you see I've changed this layout a little bit down here, uh, I just put these, elevate these like this. Uh, so when you look on top of these, this will actually tell you the status of the item. Um, orange means we filled up either on, um, uh, well, red means we're completely maxed out on t uh, on space. Uh, yellow, I believe, will mean that we've reached the maximum number of types, but we still have space left. And then uh, something along those lines. Greens means you get space on both. All right. Yeah, and I did change this a little bit over here also, so to make this look a bit, little bit different. Do we? Let's see if we have any real quick. Do we have? I only got one. I only got one. Ah, we got regular stone though. Uh, I'll actually do one more thing here. Do we have a? Now, because we don't have red power, we don't have a project table. But let me see if I have anything else in here that is near. Oh, it's your work table. Let's do that. 
Now the work table is made with the book, crafting table, and chest. We're going to put it right here, like so. And it lets you make like the last, it, or it, I believe it keeps in mind, yeah, there we go. Yep, the last certain grouping of items that you've made. So, like that, click on that, and look at that. So, there we go. All right, we're going to break this out real quick here. Like so. Okay. One macerator. One electric furnace. So, like, so we're not going to do heavy automation right now. This is just sort of getting us where we need to be there. And I want to put this... Uh, let's see here. Actually, let's back up slightly here. I want to bring this up like this. So, one macerator, one furnace. Cool. Alright. And I'm going to plop that underneath there. And then let's just fill this in real quick here. Come on, break for me. Thank you very much. Actually, while we're at it, let's just get the rest of that. That's good. All right. So we have our electric furnace, we have our macerator. This should cook stuff up without having to use direct coal and such and I'm suddenly can't remember if you can use a lever to turn off a generator uh, let's see here we'll put a half a stack in each All right. So we put that in there. Yep, it runs. Yep, it just runs. All right. Let's see if that will actually stop. Yeah, it stopped when it got full. That's fine. I can deal with that. So it fills up the battery, and then it stops. All right, I do actually do want to make a... I think a bat box will be helpful. So let's go ahead and make one of those next. All right. Bat box is going to be a way to store power. So we need an RE battery. Which is 10 redstone and... Alright. We can do that. 10. And redstone. Let's make a couple of bat boxes. That'll be good. Yep, so that in the center. And then... Cabling on top, and then wood paneling in the corners. Two bad boxes. Okay. Now we got our wrench. How many wrench here? The problem with the industrial craft two machines is that if you just use something to break them, like a picks, they will just plain break. All right. So. All right, let's just do this here, this way. Uh, whatever. All right, so let's go back up here and let us... Oh, come on. Jump down again. There we go. 
So this is the bat box is charging up. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. And let's put that there. And now we can put these machines back down. Actually, let's do the furnace first, the macerator here. We've got a charge. This is charging up this, so this should be good. 4,000 EU each at, at 10 EU per tick. So 10 coal should fill this up. All right. Not perfect, but this is what we can actually go ahead and do. Clicking on this, we can tell it if we have a redstone signal, do not output energy. This should stop it from outputting. Saving on power, that's good. Okay. So let's throw all of this back in here. We'll just, we'll have another bat box when we need it later. All right, next I wanna make an aqueous accumulator. So for that, we need some um, two main things. Machine frame and pneumatic servo. So glass, iron, and gold. Let's make a few of those. So I've got plenty of glass. Actually, no, I believe it's in the corners. Yep, there we go. Gold, if I can spell gold correctly. And then iron. Four machine frames should be good. I'll have some spares. This we need iron, glass, and redstone. So iron, red, redstone, and then glass. Uh, a couple of those should be fine. All right, so one of those, one of those. We need a bucket. Do I have a spare bucket? Yes, I got a spare bucket. Good. Uh, bucket. And then at 10. Ah, no, glass. Glass for some of this. So an aqueous accumulator will produce water um, basically for free. It, it, it allows you to pump basically a direct, out of a... Uh, um, a unlimited water supply out of a uh, infinite water pool. We also need to make some waterproof pipes. So we got some golden transport pipes. Yeah, let's see if that'll work, if, if I can get what they without having to worry about doing wooden pipes there. Uh, we need some, we need to cook up some cactus. Let's, let's go cook up 10 cactus downstairs in our new electric furnace. So, flip on the switch, throw in the cactus, and, and cactus green will turn into pipe waterproofing, and this makes waterproof pipes. Good, that's exactly what we want. All right, now while that goes, let's go back up here and grab a couple of buckets of water. Uh, water. We got one bucket of water. Oh, why am, why am I doing this? I, 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 I've got this all downstairs already. Okay, so I want to set these below, actually. All right. Yeah, like so. Which means I want to put the accumulator right here. Uh, let me up. There we go. Two of these. Uh, actually, let's put it here. This will make more sense. It's be easier to get the pipe up. All right, so that's there. That is there. The aqueous accumulator goes there, and the water is already starting to fill up. 
One bucket at a time. Good. Perfect. And let's get out of here now. There we go. Let me up. And we're going to turn this into some more pipe. All right, let's see if this works. Yep, there we go. All right, we'll just build this back up. So... Actually, yeah, we got to do this a little bit differently. We're going to go from here... Uh, actually, I want to go underneath. I'm trying not to disturb the piping. All right. There we go, and water is now increasing. Perfect. Yay! Now I don't have to worry about keeping this thing filled up. Because the accumulator will fill to keep it filled up for us. Yeah, let's just be on the safe side and light that up. Alright. One, two, three. And this... We can actually now fill in. Because the water is being fed automatically for us. Perfect! All right, so we got our accumulator built. We got our two base mach basic machines built. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the extractor quite yet. I don't think it's too necessary, but we'll put the sign back up. So I'm not, also not gonna worry about the induction smelter yet, but uh, I do want, let me throw these in here. There we go. Need to make some more storage at some point here. Um, the last thing I want to... Uh, well, not maybe not the last thing, but I do want to go ahead and work a little bit with this also. Um, so, one of the nice features about applied energistics is the idea of input and export buses. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves an input. Let's see here. Miss, am I missing something? Import. There we go. Okay. So we're going to do a basic import bus. These are different types of advanced buses. They use different things. We're going to use a basic import bus, which I believe should pull everything out of a chest and put it in storage. All right. So we need... First, we're going to make a conversion matrix, which needs a basic processor. Back up, head back in backspace. So, gold, redstone, silicon, and quartz cutting knife. Let's throw all of this back in here. Quartz cutting knife. Silicon, redstone and gold. All right, let's go ahead and cook these guys up and are quickly easy to get to furnace right there. Next, we need two fluix dust and a certus quartz. All right. So fluix dust, certus quartz, that's good. All right, we need iron in the corners. The easy get quartz on top, and then our processor. Like so. Conversion matrix. All right. Next. 
We need cable, glass, and iron. And we need to make a little bit more cable. So we're going to make glass, glass, three more pieces of cable. And was it... Uh, iron in the corners. Irogen. Iron, 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 iron. This makes a Emmy interface. Okay. So we've got the Emmy interface. Sticky piston, cable. We need to make a sticky piston. All right, now this is, if I can remember how this works. Cobblestone. Wood. Redstone. Yes. Like a couple of them. And we have resin, sticky resin. That's good. Perfect. All right, and then iron. This is exactly what we wanted. Basic import bus. There's some cabling. All right, to go along with these things here. Okay. So I need to make a little bit more crystals. One of the reasons why I made the macerator is because since I'm so low in crystal dust, using a macerator, not the hand grinder, but a macerator or a pulverizer, I can pulverize Certus Quartz crystals and make Certus Quartz dust. Come on. Ah, interesting. All right. We need this to make the fluix. And just give me another one. That'll be fine. All right. Not the quickest machine, but it'll, it gets the job done. So, there's that. We have some redstone. And then dust. One, two. Good. And then glass. Let's hope this is going to be enough. Seven. Seven should be enough. Okay. So... I've got a bunch of tin cooked up here, 142 ingots. We're just going to import this into our system using some hoppers, basically. Now, this is the way we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to break this corner out here first, and we're going to put a chest down. Actually, do I want to do this here? I think we have to go down a little bit more. Let's break this out real quick. Like so. There we go. And we're going to be putting standard vanilla hoppers in here. Alright. Man, let's break this out so we can get to everything that we need. And actually, let's see here. Oh, fell down. All right, so we'll fill that in a second here. All right, let's go back up there. All right. Like so. Alright. This should give us what we need. Let's see if we got enough cable. If not, we'll have to make a little bit more in a second. Alright, 
Actually, let's just make it now. Alright, quartz, dust, redstone. Like so, more glass. Alright, ten. That is an unusual color. Oh, that's that's a normal color. Because that is where my beacon is at. Alright, so let's finish knocking these out. And actually let's do this let's do this first one here. Just as a quick test. So we'll fill up one block worth. And if we just put the regular import bus right on it. Whoops. There we go. I don't think... Let's find out. Nope, didn't actually pull it out. Alright. And I don't think we have... Nope, no special settings for that. Okay, so, uh, three more. I think then we're going to put the chest over here. This will get us where we need to go. There we go. And let's say we put a cobblestone in here. Yep, it gets pulled out and put it in the system. So we have 25 blocks of 10, and come on, is this going to work? Maybe not. Let's try it one more time just to make sure. I was so hoping that was going to work. We have to find some other way of automating that. Up, oh, it did. It worked. So now... Yep, 25, 26. Good. So it worked perfectly fine that way. So let's go ahead and run the rest of these around here. Like so. Now, I don't know about over here... But, you know what, since we're over here, we might as well try it and see what happens. Break all of this out. Break all of this out. Okay, let's see what happens. Yep, there we go. Popped right out. Perfect. This is exactly what we need. This is uh, should make things a lot easier for this to work. Cool beans. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this sealed up. And there you have it. So uh, it's not complete automation but it is automatic storing of the different items. We can probably uh, improve the uh, the bus that we end up using. Let's see here, should we lower this down one more? Yeah, let's just lower this down one more. Here we go. I believe the other buses let you do things like pull more stuff out and so forth, so we'll probably work with that at some point. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. And 
notes. Perfect, perfect. Okay, there we go. So we have gotten this set in place here. So now we just go through. I've not yet figured out a good way to redstone this part of it here. So that's a, that's a downside. But just keep an eye on them. As they harden, pop, 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 they just start going away. Yep, there we go. Perfect. All right, so um, we have now, let's see here, 9, 18, 27. There we go. We got everything in place. Uh, next up, we need some more power. Uh, the power situation is kind of bad right now. I haven't decided which way route I want to go. Um, I think I want to go see about getting that oil and maybe doing something with the oil. Oh, um, I also need to get, let's see here. We need some oil. Also want to get a, uh, a Coke furnace going there. Um, and a blast furnace from Railcraft. Now let's get some steel and things like that. And then we're going to start working on some mine factory reloaded stuff. Okay. So uh, there we go. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and do... There's that. And then one, two, three. So I have enjoyed making this. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have any suggestions, throw them in, in the comments field. And I hope to see you all next time. So have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.